Hey what's up everyone, in this video I will show you how I created this stunning website for one of my clients using a web creation platform that I just recently discovered Wix Studio, so let's get into it. So a few weeks ago, one of my clients, which is a motion design studio, reached out and asked me if I can create a one-page website for the studio for an important upcoming meeting, which will happen in only two days. So obviously that is impossible, but then I have a second thought. So I recently tried Wix Studio, which is a very intuitive web creation platform, and they provided a lot of cool features that make it a perfect solution for this gig, so I decided to give it a go. So for those of you who are not aware, Wix Studio is a completely different platform from Wix. While Wix is targeted for beginners and non-designers who want to create quick website from pre-designed templates, Wix Studio on the other hand is a far more advanced platform with more design capabilities, professional grade aesthetic which make it more suitable for designers and developers to create top-notch websites. Alright so now let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the main dashboard where you can manage all of your projects. Uh, so let's click here to create a new project and select uh, start from a blank canvas. So here we are in the main interface of Wix Studio. So by default, it's going to give you this basic layout as a start. And uh, up top here, we have this uh, free button to switch between desktop, tablet and mobile view. Right corner we have this button here to preview your work and you can click here to go back to the editor mode and you can publish your site anytime by clicking on these buttons and on the left we have this menu here that contains a lot of different components anything you need to create an awesome website from text to free design section so you can just grab and pull into your design anytime and there's a lot of other things like containers, layout, buttons, menu, search, medias. So all of these components are totally customizable so you can really save time and boost your productivity. And down here we have these layer menus where you can manage all of the layers in your website. And here we have this page panel where you can add a new page, manage all of the pages in your website. And this tab here is a global section where you can manage all of the global components. So this is very helpful for you when you work on a big project. It will really help you save time. Here is where you manage all of the type setting throughout the whole website. So you can predefine the heading style and the body text style easily here. Down here we have this app manager. So Wix Studio provides a massive app market where you can find a lot of different applications which can be integrated into your website easily. And next is the panels where you can set up and manage your website CMS. And finally this tab right here will let you extend your site functionality with code. So this is where the developer will step in and make it even better. With this the possibility of Wix Studio is endless. Alright so that was an overview of Wix Studio. So now let's get to the fun part. So we're going to create this website using this design of Figma that I created. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to get rid of this section because we don't need it. And we could reuse the header but let's remove all of these content and we're going to add our own content. And you can click here to open the menus and go to media and scroll back to the top and click on this button to upload your assets. So all you have to do is just drag uh, whatever assets you have for the site uh, in this area. Uh, so I have a couple of uh, SVG logo and um, social media icon here. And after the uploading is finished, you can find all of the assets here in the panels and you can just drag it into the canvas. So now we have this logo here and let's make it a little bit smaller by 60 pixel and move it to uh, these left corners of the headers. Maybe increase the size a little bit. So next I'm going to uh, click on this header section and scroll down here to the margin settings. So let's set the left margin to 5% and do the same for the right margin. So now we have this spacing here on the two sides. And then let's select a logo and just go here and align it to the left. So we have this logo nicely in the left corner here. So let's click here to preview. So you can just drag this to see it in different screen size. Uh, so now let's go back to the editor mode so you can uh, go to this responsive behavior here to switch to uh, fix instead of scale proportionally because uh, we don't want the logo to scale too small as we uh, adjust the screen size so now when you adjust the screen the logo will stay the same size 
Okay, so next let's add the free social media button to uh, the headers. So let's add the Instagrams and make it a little bit smaller and do the same for the other two icons. And make sure that these icon size stay fixed uh, regardless of the screen size. And now let's select these three icons and on this floating menu here, let's click on stack. So it will create this stack groups uh, where you can uh, easily control the spacing of these elements by just enter the uh, input here. So let's set to 20. So now you just can create the spacing really nicely. And now let's click here to align it center to the headers. So now let's take a look at the previews to see how it responds in different canvas size. So I think it's working pretty well. So next we need a button for the header. So super simple, just go to this button tab and drag this button to the header section. And let's go down here and increase the corner radius by 100. And for the text, I want it to be bold. So let's click here. And now let's just align it to the right like this. And make sure it's horizontally aligned as well. And also switch the responsive behavior to fix. And uh, for the hover, I want the color to be yellow, so you can click here to add the yellow colors. And let's also change the color of the text to black uh, in the whole state. Alright, so let's see how this works. So it's working pretty well and also responsive nicely. Alright, so let's go back. So you can always click on this breakpoint to see how the layout adapt to a different canvas like this um, on tablet view I think it's looking pretty good uh, we just need to increase the spacing of these icons a little bit like 20s and yeah it's looking fine so let's mobiles we need to do a little bit work here so we need to reduce the size of the logo and the buttons so it can fit into the headers so after a few adjustments, we have something like this. So it's looking nicely, doesn't matter uh, what screen size you are viewing. All right, so let's move on to the headline. So uh, we have this initial section here. So let's select it and reduce the height uh, by 270. And let's set the responsive behavior to fixed height. And make sure that this section has the same margin as the headers. Alright, so now let's click here and go to the text tab and drag any of these text into the section and type in the text that you want and this is a little bit too big so I'm going to switch to another heading style uh, like this and now for the body text I'm going to select the section and from here I'm going to switch this to a two column layout so now we have this column here so I can just drag this to adjust the width of the left columns and also for the right column as well so now i'm going to add the text to the right columns and for the style let's choose a paragraph and now just type in the text and finally we have something like this and maybe we need a little bit of extra space at the bottom so let me just adjust the margin at the bottoms as well as the top uh, so yeah it's looking pretty good Alright, so let's move on to the next section. So down here we need a video banner. So let's click here to create a new section. And you can add video to this section by just right click and go to quick add and select video box. And just click here to expand the video. And on the floating menu here, let's click on change video. And I already uploaded some video access here. So you just need to select one of these and select update. And bam, the video is being integrated to the sections. And from this folder menu here, you can adjust the video settings, uh, like uh, the video behaviors. Uh, you click here, and so you can turn off the clicking to pause. Uh, and you can also adjust the sound. We have no sound, so we're good. Uh, so now let's uh, give it a preview to see how it works. Um, so yeah, uh, it's looking really nice. All right, so let's go back to the editor view. So now I wanted to add some animation to the text as well as the banner. Super easy to so just select this uh, text uh, component and go to this tab right here. And from here, you can add a lot of different animation to different behaviors, uh, depends on what you need. But for this one, I'm going to select entrance animation. And in here, there's a lot of different animation presets for you to select. Uh, so for this one, maybe I'll go with slide. 
and you can go here to adjust the animations uh, the way you want it and then let's preview and it's working like magic so so all we have to do next is to apply the same process to the body text as well as the hero banner and finally we have something like this all right so now to finish the side you just need to do the same technique to the other sections so we use the same two columns layout for the second headlight sections and for the galleries i have these two column layout here and i created a custom grid layout by just right click and split the cells horizontally and you can just do the same thing vertically and create your own grid and you can add some gaps between these cells and then we have something like this so now all we have to do is to add the video box into any of these cells Alright, so for the next section, I wanted to create a big horizontal menu like this. So when you hover, it will become black. So let's go back to the editors and I have a new section here. So let's click here to split the layout and continue to do so for these two cells. And do the same here until we have this four horizontal bar like this. And then let's select these four cells and give it a border light so let's increase the opacity by maybe 20 percent and increase the width uh, by one pixel and now we have this really nice uh, dividers between these cells so next let's select this first cells and add a title into this um, and just move it to the right positions and let's select a bigger heading style So the next thing I want to do is to create a hover effect for this cell. So super simple, just select the cell and go to this tab right here and select hover and add a hover effect into this. So with this one, let's select color and let's click here to adjust the animation. So I want the color to be black and I need the text to change the color as well so just select the cells and add another hover effect into this so for this one let's uh, open this drop down menu and select the text element that we want to target so which is this one and also select colors and click here to adjust the animation so I want this text color to change to white and bam we have this really nice hover effect and then you just need to apply the same process for the other cells. Alright, so the last thing I want to show you is how to create this text lighting animation as we scroll through the page. Super simple. So I have this section here with very really big headlights. So all we have to do is to go to scroll and then add a move animation. So let's click here to adjust the animation. So for the angle, let's set it to 90 degree and then increase the distance to maximum and adjust the animation area the way you want it uh, so let's take a look to see how it works so scroll down is moving to the left um, so yeah it's working pretty well all right so that was some of the very fundamental feature of Wix Studio that you can do and you can build the entire website just based on those features and of course there's a lot more that you can explore along the way and once you're done you can click here to publish your website you can either choose a free domain or select your own customized domain and then let's show your magic to the world so this is the end of my tutorial today so i hope you find this one helpful and i will see you in the next one